Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Teeter and today we continue on with Core Keeper. Last time on the channel, we ventured out and built the new legendary armor set. That's why we look like a giant golden bird creature thing. And then we learned that uh, where the locations of the next two bosses are. We attempted to fight Igneous, the Molten Mass, and uh, had a rough time. But we'll go in again. And uh, this time with hopefully better healing. I guess we'll kind of prioritize our gear here a little bit. Set us up for success. But yeah, so uh, Ra Akar is down here. Igneous is where my dead body is. And we have to go say hello. I think I am going to bring a bed up there. I know I keep saying this and then not doing it, but, um, fiber, wood, bed, bed. Let's see. Higher range damage. Maybe we can change my, uh, ring loadout here or my jewelry loadout. I don't even know what I've got available to me. I haven't checked in a good long while. Higher dodge chance. Can't actually remember what rings I use on my main file. I think I ended up crafting some. There's a jewelry workbench that you can get at one of these that has, I think, some pretty strong general rings. Uh, let's maybe look for it and see. Is it this one? Either this workbench or it's the, the second jewelry workbench somewhere in here. Proficient jewelry workbench. I guess we can build them both real quick. I don't know what they require, but I'll just grab all of our resources here. There's the proficient one. There's the normal one. Go ahead and put everything I just grabbed away. Check these out. Cause yeah, I think my uh, my jewelry set's not doing me a whole lot of good right now. Running out of room to put stuff, so we'll just try them over here. Higher critical hit chance, some glow, some movement speed, melee and range damage necklace, range damage ring, which is actually what I'm using. I think we found those. Critical hit chance and thorns damage. Uh, attack speed, this is actually pretty good. Melee and range attack speed, so both of those are pretty good. Higher pickup radius, that's fun. Uh, so speed's pretty good, especially if you get... I think you could polish these. They'll be even more... Well, even better. I don't know if we will actually build those, though. I just don't really know what else I'm after. My necklace just heals me. Maybe I should find something that's more equipped for damage, like this necklace. Or... Are they sorted at all? No. Range attack speed, and then what are the skull rings? I know I've got skull rings somewhere around here. Melee attack speed, but my health goes way down. Critical hit damage, less food drain when running. I should maybe use the blue leather tome. Which gives us a boosted range damage. Now, of course, we'll have to get rid of our dash feather, but I'm not too concerned about that. Of course, you need to dash in order to have that this armor set work for you, because otherwise it's just a normal armor set. Uh, but worth considering, I guess. Where am I going? Here we are. This is all clothing. If I'm melee hitting mining damage. I guess I don't really have a lot of good rings and stuff. I think most of what I normally use I got from, um, I want to say fishing or farming bosses. I think a lot of what I have is kind of lackluster, but. 
suppose we can try to craft some foods. Now, I don't have a lot of pupaya and pine grapples, unfortunately, but... I guess we won't need a lot of every individual food. We just need food. So combining these should boost both our melee and range damage, just because that's what each of the food components does. Uh, I think some of the fish that you can get will boost, like, your attack speed and everything. Forgetting where my food is. Mushrooms just feed you. Heartberries heal you. Glow to those make you glow. Bomb peppers make you quick. Karaks give you armor. A fungi... Might be boss damage resistance. Let's try combining... 10 of these and 10 of these. And then Grumpkin is for mining. And these aren't cookable foods. Oh, I should bring some milk with me, actually, too. Hot bar is about to look super different than it currently does. <laughs> actually, that's what this does, though. This is a uh, an armor food. Armor and re reduced damage taken from bosses, so... That's also what this does. Oh, wait, that's exactly what I'm making. I'm such a... <laughs> such a goober. Alright. So this is speed and health. And this is... Our damage. This is an armor. I hate putting all this on my body, but, you know... I guess we'll keep the pickaxe on my body instead of the... Whatever. We got healing, potion. The only thing that's kind of... Not in use here is the, um... Shovel. Alright, so we're gonna go up to this node here. And I'm gonna put my bed right there. Just so we can save ourselves a trip to the edge of the desert. And then we can... Head on over to Ra Akar, I guess. Hopefully, I've got all I need to fight him. How much fun is this? All right, nobody let me forget by the time I get to the edge of the world there to uh, put that bed down. I think I'm actually going to forget, but I swear I've got the memory of a goldfish. I say it a lot. That's the only thing that I can remember to say when it comes to critiquing my own memory or lack thereof. So yeah, we want to fell these bosses, and then after this, I guess my goal is... Kind of just some cleanup stuff. Uh, because we already have the legendary armor. We need to farm Azios a little bit in order to get the ancient pickaxe. So that we can craft the legendary pickaxe. Because we know where to craft the legendary pickaxe, we just can't, uh do it yet because we don't have one of the crafting components that being the ancient pickaxe of course which is just a drop from Azios. used to be able to find them uh there was one that spawned in a special dungeon out in the wilderness but for some reason that's gone oops didn't mean to do that i meant to play place a torch i don't have down all right so now we'll spawn here when we die not super useful considering um I don't want to do that yet I'm not super useful considering that you know if I die I'm gonna want to go back to base and kind of stock up a little bit but that's okay so we're gonna go fight Ra Akar first and like I said hopefully we'll not die unlike Igneous Rockar doesn't um, absolutely litter the battlefield with stuff you have to clean up or spawn a bunch of enemies or anything like that. So thankfully you don't have to worry about, you know, killing slimes that are suddenly spawning everywhere or anything like that. Big rock formation in our way here. Now there's a temple in our way. Boy, I can't win right now. Look at the layout of this desert on my map. There's only so many gaps to run through. Going this way. So funny. 
Then you get these giant open expanses with nothing in the way. It's so crazy how much of it's like clustered. Don't you dare damage me before my fight. Now we didn't actually find a way into this uh, boss arena. So I'm hoping that coming in from the bottom will reveal it to us. Because I think normally that's where the door is. I don't think we're going to have to mine our way into here though, which is annoying. Oh, I thought he died. Look at that. I almost, <laughs> I almost died because I have no armor. Man, this is just my mining set. I just wanted to mine. I'm trying to get to... There. And obviously I'm in a giant rock formation here. You can tell by the egg-shaped nonsense on my map. Using this goofy pumpkin outfit because it uh, has a higher mining damage than my other ones unless we break these walls in three hits. I remember that I had to mine all this way. I probably would have made the Galaxite pickaxe, but we're going to use it for such a small period before we get the other one. That just seemed kind of goofy to do that. We're coming up on an, an ore deposit here. Oh, a couple of them. Apparently there's one right beyond this wall. Yep, hello. And then in like three hits, there's going to be a copper one right here. Hello. <laughs> We're getting there. There it is. I don't think he's gonna let me in here though. You have to enter through the bottom. Oh my god. Completely in a wall, this. They don't let you knock down the walls in these because then you could expand the arena and have an easier time hiding the boss all over the place, you know? All the late game biomes are surrounded like this outside of uh, Azios. Yeah, this is real silly. This was completely encapsulated in rock. Because there's no way around in here other than, you know, through the walls. Now, you can make the arena ever so slightly larger like this. But, probably just take out the holes in the walls here because they are easy to get stuck on. <laughs> Temple walls are pretty crazy, huh? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I started counting too early, I guess. That's fine. These I actually want here for protection. I wonder if I could place more of them in the middle of the arena. Because uh, he shoots these ball things all over the place that are kind of annoying. I actually kind of prefer having those in place. The ones I dug up we can maybe use to our advantage. So I won't care about the other ones that are here. Let's try to place some more of these down. Got six, so one, two. How far apart are they? Four in the middle. Three. Four. Five. And one for insurance about here. Six. Alright. Well, let's give it a try, I guess. Drinky, drinky, eat, eat. Nice. Oh, he's gonna destroy the pillars, that's a shame.
the whole fight though. And then when he gets enraged, it happens faster, but. I'll hide behind this wall back here. Uh oh, some of them got through. On lava butterflies or whatever. Yikes. Oh, I just realized I'm not using my main my main suit. Oops. destroy my wall. Where's my cursor? Hello? No, my wall! You jerk! I don't want to be right in his mouth. Come here. Little beams. Come away from my walls. are the scary thing it's not the actual bugs I care about I think you can just outrun them like I just did the beams I mean guess I'll pop some more goodies because I'm sure they've worn off by now He's enraged. Does that mean he shoots right away? No. This does. Let's let him hit me. That's fine. Hit the damn ball. There's more of them right away. I don't want to destroy my little walls back here. They've been my saving grace. I almost didn't need one of those, but I walked right into some of these flying ball things. He's almost dead. Oh, well, my pet reached level 10. How exciting. He's basically dead. He is dead. Tornado won it for us. Oh, he destroyed his own... Does he make a chest? I think so. Oh, just a titan chest. Beast booster. Can we boost a level 10 beast? I don't think so. One more point, huh? Um, I have to think about it. Crit damage, range damage, crit damage... Range damage. Oh, wait, those are literally the only two I haven't picked. Um, what's your crit chance? I don't actually know. If I knew how often they would critical, I would care. I guess let's do range damage. 
Uh, chance to shoot balls. Great. On hit, does that say? On any kind of hit? Melee or range hit. Nice. Well, there you go. So that's our one boss. Now we can... Try to go to the other boss. I really wish I had a way out of the back of here, but we're gonna have to just make one, I guess. It's gonna take so long to do. If this was completely buried like this, I definitely would have um, made the better pickaxe because this is ridiculous having to do this. I'm excited in the new update. They uh, they showed that there's going to be something that lets you use an electric beam to mine stuff. I don't know if it makes things go quicker, but I imagine it can melt a lot of the existing walls in the game, which I'm thankful for because. I mean, you can eventually cut down these walls with a single hit. When you get the ancient pickaxe or the uh, boosted pickaxe in a high mining set, which you can find in the desert, you can cut through most walls like butter. Some walls still take multiple hits, though, like the temple walls and everything. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's get this show on the road, except for the fact that I keep hitting dead ends. Thank you so much. All right, just dodging gray bits on my map until we get to my dead X. I'm gonna cut into the dark a little bit just to see. Am I? No. Remember we have to go into one of the, um, molten quarries, but not that one. Not even close. Haphazard dashing coming your way. No. Actually have to go down here. Glad thing. Good thing I checked. Ugh. I'm staring at the mini map more than anything right now. Okay, your king has arrived. Make way, make way. Have I gone this way? I think multiple paths will lead to the boss, so in theory we could go this way and end up in the right place. Flame ring. Dodge chance and burn damage applied. I don't think that works on... Igneous. But, you know. I appreciate your lofty dreams. The boss fight room? No. I guess you're supposed to find an oracle card in these wooden containers, and we've smashed a whole bunch of them, but... No gots. What? I stepped in one? Oh man. I didn't think that was the case. No cards. We're getting close to where I've already been. I think we are where I've already been. Oh. Maybe I haven't been through here. Does this lead to the boss arena though? It looks like it would. Unless it's cut off. Oh, it does. Cool. Of course I can't make room for any of my stuff. Walls, seeds, pet food. Uh, scrap, scrap, scrap. Still stuff floating under me. 
What else can we get rid of? I don't want this. Oh yeah, I do want to equip my tome. Switch back to the king, so we don't get attacked while we're waiting. Uh, what else can I... I don't need two of each of these, who am I kidding? There was any poison? Uh, didn't mean to pick that up. Is that everything? On a golden chest. Um. All right, basic dash feather. You can go. Oh, speaking of chest, there's a chest right in there. I have to dig a, or uh, place platforms all through there. Look at all these enemies that spawn, man. That's crazy. Oops. I'm trying to clean up the room a bit here. No, I didn't, uh, McCall it. Well, one, I should have brought a bed into this room. Two, I also didn't bring any floor pieces to place down. You can place bridges, but they will work, you know, only for as long as you don't allow the boss to hit them. There are so many of these fly- or these butterflies in here. We're gonna have to fight our way into the room. One already hit me while I was strafing. It bodes well <laughs> for what's to come. Oh my goodness. There's special new power coming out to play. I realize I just used the last of my range melee booster food. Oh, what? <laughs> he spawned his healing orbs right away on my body. That's silly. All right, change of plan just because of how goofy that just was. We're bringing the bed with us. Because that is a long trek back. And I don't have my main dash feather. Oh no, I'll have to use the basic one. Still better than just running, but not by much. 27 minutes in. All right, so we've got time for one more try, I think. Igneous is probably... I mean, we, we beat Rockar in one sitting without even thinking about it. I think Igneous might be the hardest boss in the game. Just because he's got the spongiest health pool and the arena is very spammy. And... I should bring some floor with me. I could dig up the ground out here, I think, and bring it with or dig up some once we're in there. Might even be able to dig up the uh, bridge tiles that are in there. I don't know how much damage they take to break. This is all just an insurmountable rock wall, though, here. Um. Yeah, lie. Maybe it's going to take me six minutes or three minutes just to get there. Keeping my movement speed increased though, with hopes that it'll keep us going, but... We want to try one more time. Hopefully it won't spawn... ...things directly on my body, you know? Who can say, except... ...hand of fate, I guess. Ugh, it's so far. Oh, and this is a dead end, of course. And this is a dead end, of course. Hey, the minimap doesn't look all that threatening, but then... You know, you just go for it and suddenly... Nowhere to go. Did I pick up that dagger? You know what, maybe I'll use that in the fight instead of my, uh... Legendary bow. Because I think we'd benefit from having more attacks coming out with our per hit abilities. 
The little buddy that we get from the bow itself only spawns from kills. We're not killing anything. We're in there. Actually, it's not true. I guess we kill all the um, random enemies that spawn, but not really what I have in mind for that fight. All right, we just need to get here and place a bed. Ideally, where there's no enemies. All right, I'm actually looking along this um, lava path here because there might just be a chest at the end of it, but let's find an entrance. I mean, sometimes in the middle of these, they're carved out enough to place a bed. What entrance did I take into this thing, though, is the question. Oh, this one here. I don't have my reinforcement table on me or a galaxite. Chunks. Okay, yeah, let me do this, so. There you go, I guess. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to fight my way into here, but... Oh, he's literally right in here. Such a short path to the middle once you know where it is. Yeah, it is. Wow. Well, I should, again, try to clear this out a bit. I don't understand why I'm doing such a hard or having such a hard time of moving away from enemy shots. Alright, we'll uh, demote this to a secondary position and hope for the best here. Is there a lot of cleanup to do this time? I mean, ground wise? No. Well, there's a new necklace here. Burn damage applied on hit. I don't know if that's effective here or not. Oh boy. Um, Alright, let's get rid of all the fluff here. Fluff, 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 fluff. This was chilling in here. Garbage. Because I picked up one more thing, we have to get rid of one more thing. Um, let's get rid of 999 ground magma slimes, yeah. That paladin head back in here. We're gonna pick up more. He's basically just gonna infinitely spawn them, so. Is that everyone we can kill up front? Looks like it. All right, pop, 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 go. Gotta be mindful of where he's shooting. Also trying to walk where he's already been. Whoop. Get rid of these. I don't think he only spawns three of those, so I'm kind of worried that I missed one. Break this wall for me. Thank you. Oop. I've got to watch where I can go here. filling in the ground and I 
walked into a flame, I think. If Semi freaks out, I'm gonna have to eat my food. Ah! Food. 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 My knife is half dead. He did heal. Oh no. We need to clean up the battlefield. Mostly because it's spawning enemies, not because of anything else. No, you don't need to heal. I can't see what's going on. It's already back up to full health. So brutal. Uh, Alright. Well, that's going to have to do it for this video. Rip to our throwing daggers, though. But if you watched this far, I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to check out the other content on my channel. Uh, including the rest of my Core Keeper series. Uh, we will be doing a new series. Maybe not as frequently. But we are going to check out the new content that drops on October 4th. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to see what they're adding to the game with the... What I believe is the last biome update. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you so much for watching. And uh, if you enjoy content like this, please feel free to head on over to my Twitch channel where we play games like Core Keeper and many, many others all the time. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you take care. Bye now.